Hey everybody, in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the app switcher on your Apple Watch SE second generation. This should also, also work for other Apple Watches out there. So what's the app switcher? It's basically a way that you can go see the, the running apps that you've got running from previous sessions on your Apple Watch. It's really similar to your iPhone if you're used to doing this on your iPhone. I'm going to start by turning on my watch face and I'm going to double click the crown. So I'm going to press it twice rather quickly. The negative about this is you have to move kind of quick. When I double click it, it's going to show me all of the recent apps that I've been using. If I stop on any one of these, it will open up that app. And that's why I was saying you have to move rather quick because if you go slow, if you stop too long, it's going to basically bring back up that app. And that's basically what this is for is, hey, I was just using something not too long ago. Instead of going back through my app listings, I just simply want to go back through my app switcher, switcher, find that app and open it up. Now, the other thing that I like to do is I like to clean out my recently used app. So I'm going to double click it and I'm going to go through here and I'm just going to start deleting some stuff. All I have to do is swipe to the left and close some of the stuff that I've got running in the background that I haven't used in a while. Now, once you do this, you kind of lose the flexibility of using the app switcher, switcher because you have no recently used apps running in the background. But it also helps with some system resources, and especially if you're having issues with battery. You want to free up some space, remove those recently used apps if you haven't been using them. But anyway, that's a look at how you can get to your app switcher, switch to a different app, and close your recently used apps. Hope the video helped.